Welcome back. The first thing you had to do was I gave you a couple of these items and asked you, how do I pass those items into your do breakfast? The most, what is the easiest way to pass those into your do breakfast from the lab before? And here we put an asterisk in front of the items. Next, you wanted to start with this tuple. And you wanted to isolate scissors into the identifier to cut. And then the rest go into meaningless or could be meaningless identifiers, whatever you choose to do there. So, oh, how mean of me. I put those scissors right in the middle. So, hammer here will go into to hit, wrench to torque, scissors to cut, and all I get to gather together then are the pliers and the ruler into the rest. You could have done asterisk rest and then to cut, to pinch, to measure. You might have done it that way. It would have been equal. Alrighty, but this time I asked you to make five meaningful identifiers and then asterisk rest to see what happens. Do we get an error? No, the rest has an empty list. Okay, let's make a pizza in 63. Make pizza then takes in two ingredients and maybe some more. The two ingredients, here's your first one and second one with, now I end with a nothing, so that for each of my ingredients, I'm going to say space ingredient, space ingredient, space ingredient, and then I'll say with new line, enjoy. Maybe you did a triple quote, went to the new line and said enjoy. That'd be better. So here are my ingredients. And I stuffed them into my argument list with the asterisk. And you'll see that anchovies and garlic come out separately. And those are the rest. Cheese is going in. And then start ingredients. Well, this one's a little bit interesting. Because cheese has a place to go. And so it's taken up by that first, but second has nothing. So it's going to pull off the anchovies, the first one in the tuple. And all the rest of them will be gathered up into rest. And you see, we get cheese and anchovies, and here are the rest of them. Well, the flexibility of that is quite stunning. I hope you... I'll see you in the next lab.